Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kay and I am a personal finance coach. So thank you so much guys, we've reached 1000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, I'm very humbled, thank you. And I thank you for your comments and the feedback that you're giving me in terms of the content that I post here. And again, thank you so much for the topics that you want me to tackle. So today we're gonna talk about a topic that a lot of you guys have asked me to do which is debt consolidation loan so we're gonna dive into the fact that what is a debt consolidation loan um what are the disadvantages and advantages of a debt consolidation loan and what are the things that you need to prepare for or things that you need to plan before you go and get a debt consolidation loan so let's get into it so now let's talk what is a debt consolidation loan can I please clear a confusion that a lot of people have because people confuse debt consolidation loan with debt review or debt cancelling. No, debt cancelling is a program they put you in. I don't even know if it's a program, but yeah, something like a program. It's like a debt AA. You know, when you're an alcoholic, you go to AA. So when you're on debt, they put you on that program. The court declares and everything. And then now with debt consolidation loan, I love the fact that it's very direct. It's a loan that the bank gives you to consolidate your loans or to consolidate your current credit. So what is the consolidation about? So let's make an example. You have five different um, credit. You can have them with different uh, banks or you can have them with the same bank. It doesn't matter. They will still consolidate even if it's with other different service providers. Here you are, you have five different loans. Well, with those five different loans, or different, let's say different debts to be on the safe side. And again, it does not consolidate your 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 secure debt. So don't think that you're gonna consolidate your home loan or your car loan. So we're talking about all unsecured debt like your personal loan, revolving loan, credit card, overdraft. Those are the things that when I say the debt consolidation is gonna consolidate, we're talking about those debts just to make a disclaimer as well. So you go and say. I'm paying a lot for all of those um, loans, so I want, want to have one loan where you guys can give me a loan. I pay for all my other loans and I can only pay you. So you have consolidated those loans and the, this new loan that you're getting from this bank, it's going to pay directly. It's not going to give you the cash money. It's going to take that money, go directly to those service providers and pay off those accounts and they will be closed. Now you will be left with this one loan, which we now we know, which we call a consolidation loan so yeah that's a consolidation loan um it's you taking one loan to pay your other debts that's it and then again so now let's get into i'm not going to dive more into debt review or debt cancelling uh, it's going to be a topic for another day i'm only going to focus on the debt consolidation loan now what are the advantages of a debt consolidation loan? The first, um, I think let's start with the disadvantage. It's fair. Yeah, so that we leave the good part at the end. <laughs> so let's talk about the disadvantage first. The first disadvantage is that here you are, you are saying, can you please pay all my debts? And you find out that all your debts, um, the balance added up together, the total is actually um, 50,000 rand. And then when you go to bank to get the debt consolidation loan, they say, do you know what? Our, the, the debt consolidation loan that we're going to give you, it's actually 100,000 rand. The 50,000 rand, we are going to go and pay all the debts. And the 50,000 rand extra, we're going to give you in a form of cash. So to somebody else will say, but K, why is that a disadvantage? I mean, it's an advantage. The bank is giving me more money. But remember, it's not your money and you were not intending on taking a loan. So what the bank did, it just prolonged and added extra debt on top of the debts that you had. So it doesn't sound good at all because it's under an unsecured loan, which is a debt consolidation loan, which is very expensive. Um, so don't take the extra amount of money if you do not need it. If it's not a need, if you're not intending on taking more credit, because the reason why you want to consolidate is because it's already expensive for you to finance all these other debts. Now you have just added 50,000 extra. So that is the first disadvantage. The second disadvantage is that a lot of people, they don't plan well. They plan thinking of the now and they don't think of the future. Let me make an example of what I'm saying. So here you are, maybe two of the loans that you currently have, you are going to 
um, be done in the next four months. So because you did not plan and you did not go and check, you were like, just consolidate everything. And then now that loan that you're about to finish in four months, you have now put it in another loan, which you're going to finish in the next five years. Because a lot of debt consolidation loans, um, normally they call them consolidation loans. Let me call them consolidation loans. Um, a lot of consolidation loans, they are actually, the term is um, for 60 months. It's the term is for 60 months. So now, instead of you finishing those two loans in the next four months, you have added them in another loan that you're going to finish in the next five years. Because when you calculate the money that you're going to spend in installment, uh, it has at least reduced by 1,000 rand. So now you have 1,000 rand back into your account. But the question is, in future... Do you still have that 1,000 rand saved? No, because you are still going to pay for that 1,000 rand. That looks like you're saving. Say in your loans, um, you have a loan that is left with four months and it's 50,000 rand. And then you're only left with 4,000 rand to finish in the next four months. Then you go and take that 4,000 rand and you allow it to be consolidated. It means that you're going to be paying for that 4,000 rand for five years instead of four months because the consolidation loan loan term it's five years so do you see that you've set yourself backwards instead of you sacrificing and being committed and uh, being consistent and just uh, pay for that four months and know that when you are done paying the money that was going to that installment you can now use it for something else so you must be very mindful when it comes to to that now the third disadvantage is that again on the interest part a lot of people don't think of the interest rate guys interest rate should be the first thing that you think about when you think of getting any loan because it determines how long are you gonna um pay for that for that debt and again it also determines how much are you gonna pay for that loan so how much does that loan cost you as an individual to get it so a lot of people don't think of interest rate they go and take this debt consolidation loan at 29 percent while their average of the current all their the average of all their debts they are currently paying 25 percent interest rate because they are not aware of the interest rate they think it's a bargain because i'm gonna get a thousand rent back and i'm not gonna be paying eight thousand i'm not gonna be paying seven thousand for this one loan but in actual fact, that 1000 again, you're going to pay it back in terms of the extra 4% that they've added in your loan. So you must be very careful when it comes to taking debt consolidation loan because there is still an unsecured debt. It can get to a higher interest rate. And remember, by the time you go and take a debt consolidation loan, your credit profile is not as at its healthiest and they do check such things. So they will definitely give you a higher interest rate because already by you getting a debt consolidation loan you are saying i can't manage my current debt for now i need something that can pay all of them so that I can only pay one thing so interest rate is something that you should look at that is the other disadvantage of a debt consolidation loan the other one is the term most mostly consolidation loans are anything for the eight months to 60 months four years to five years so which means you are also getting into another medium term um, debt that you are putting yourself into so that the term as well it's also a disadvantage all right now what are, what are the advantages of a debt consolidation loan or a consolidation loan the first one is that you get to save on fees remember each product you have with the bank they charge you a fee so if you have five debts with the bank they're gonna charge you a fee for five debts five credit that you have with them now if you're closing all those five debts and you're only left with one it means that you're gonna be paying a bank fee uh, for one product the second thing is that where by any chance they give you a an interest rate that is lower than your average interest rate it means that you have gained because you're going to start paying less interest on this new debt. The third one is that they will definitely pay directly to the store 
um, where you are currently owing or they're going to pay directly to the service provider where you are currently owing. They don't give you that money cash. So it's more safe here on you, or safe on your side because they will pay them, make sure that they are closed and then you now have only this one loan. You don't have the admin of going to one store and pay, two store and pay, three store and pay. But there are certain debts that they don't pay directly like your overdraft. You will need to take the money and pay it yourself. So there are certain things that they don't uh, pay because they don't have the, a separate account like what we have explained in our previous video so those are the advantages and if we can look really guys the advantages are not as interesting or as beneficial on your side um, than the disadvantage so it's a debt consolidation loan a good thing it's still way better than debt review but where you can and be disciplined i will say pay your debt and make sure that you don't go and take another debt to pay other debts so yeah is it a way out sort of it's sort of a way out i know there are people that are uh, maybe it, when we, we're talking about situations where you lost your job now it's something else and yeah you can afford but now if we're talking about you did not lose your job you just went and took unnecessary debt and now you want this one debt to pay everything honestly i will definitely say that you are looking for an easy way out while you are prolonging your financial freedom because you're thinking of the now if you are in a position where you are working towards generational wealth you are working towards financial freedom thinking of the now will be a setback for you so you always have to think it for future how will this benefit me in future how much money am i going to make in the future if i discipline myself become consistent right now work on this thing right now am i going to benefit in future so that's how you must start thinking because they, they, they advertise it and make it enticing because also you're going to save a thousand rand today. You're going to save a two thousand rand. You won't be paying that two thousand two thousand rand extra. But in the long run, you are still going to pay them back that two thousand rand that you thought you were saving. So never think of them now. So at least now you do have an idea. It's still a loan. It's not debt review. It's not debt counseling. It's a loan that you are taking to pay other credits that you currently have and the unfortunate part is that it's not as accessible as a normal personal loan because most people that want debt consolidation loan it's because they are already in debt you, you wouldn't want a consolidation loan if you're not in debt so which means if you're already in debt probably your, your your credit score it's not in a good way in a good manner so they might decline you and your affordability as well because they still check those two things because it's still a loan so your affordability must still will be a, as well not too good that they will still decline the consolidation loan so if you have any questions you can ask uh, you can ask on the comments and then um if you want a follow-up video as always guys you are welcome i do this content to help you it will make no um you know no no use for me to come and talk about topics that are not going to help you my point of starting my youtube channel was for me to bring finance education to help you guys when you are planning for your financial goals and when you are working towards your journey of financial freedom so any topic that you want me to talk about which i can talk about i will definitely tell you that i'm gonna talk about this and then yes thank you so much have a lovely day and i will see you guys and next week we are gonna start doing a series on how do you do disputes um in your credit profile so i will be doing a four part or five part um depending on many things i'm gonna show you how to dispute because a lot of you are asking me how do i dispute a hard inquiry how do i dispute um, any information that is not supposed to be on my credit profile like my prescription debts how do i go about that i've paid up for my loans but they're still showing even after one year what should i do so i'm gonna try and make it as practical as it can be uh, but later this year i will also do a workshop uh, either I think it's going to be virtually so that I, a lot of people, even if they're not in Gauteng or Johannesburg, they can still attend. So where I can uh, then go through the, the disputing with you, with the things that you want to dispute and help you how to dispute them. So thank you so much once again for 1000 subs. I love all of you. And let we, I love all of you. And let's bring back the person in personal finance, which is you. Bye.